Nathan's gone to hospital, was it fractured ankle? Well, so that was the first uh, diagnosis, but um, of course first we have to see uh, an x-ray, and then I think in a couple of days an MRI scan um, to know if it's bad or, or really bad. Yeah. What was it like at half-time? I mean, because it took so long to get him off the pitch, and it there's that sense of it could be really dreadful. So yeah, you know, and we had one on the bench who tried something. Sim I don't obviously hope it's that bad as the thing that happened to, to Neil uh, last year, but uh, we all remember how that was. And uh, I, I mean, it's as I just said, people get injured every game uh, um, with things and they can jump off and uh, okay, they out for a couple of weeks or three or four. But when you see people get carried out like that, and uh, s then you know it's it's much more now. So, as the manager, you have to you have to pretend that it's not serious. Do you? Do you um, no, everybody, of course, when we come in, ask uh, how bad it is. But again, <laughs> they can only assume that it could be, and and so. But b before having done the test, nobody really knows for sure. Yeah, not even the doctor, you know. So, uh, but um, of course, it's. We're talking about teammate, one of the players, and and uh, and it's um, and first of all for him um, because it's you just go from from playing one second and suddenly you the next second you you're out and you don't know really for how long. But uh, again, uh, let's wait and see and uh, hope it's it's bad but not really bad.